Hi, my name is Doug Donahue. I'm a Viking Yacht Sales Specialist with HMY Yacht Sales in Palm Beach, Florida. Today we are going to look at a brand new model for Viking Yachts, the 38 Open. Here it is with a whisper gray hull color and we'd like to welcome you aboard. So we're going to enter and start off with the cockpit. It's a 109 square foot cockpit. The beam of this vessel is 14 feet. It has solid fiberglass combing. This is our transom fish box, which is also plumbed as a live bait well. For 60 gallon capacity, um, there's a high horsepower pump that provides very good flow to your bait. Over here are two full length in-deck fish boxes, port and starboard side. I'll open one of these up. Now this is a discharge for the Eskimo ice machine that's installed in the engine room. That'll fill this fish box up full of crush ice and keep your fish and everything else fresh. So if you happen to harvest something that is too big to fit in the fish box or, or come in the boat by conventional methods, you do have a pass-through gate to your transom door. If you're family cruising this day, this is a great way to get on and off the boat and jump in for a quick swim. On the forward portion of the cockpit is a mezzanine seating area. This is a very nice feature, keeps you comfortable, keeps you in the shade while you're watching your bait and while you're watching your anglers do what they do. You have a refrigerated drink box here, storage under both of these compartments. This can be refrigerated if you want extra refrigeration, same thing over here. So under here would be your bait freezer. You just pop that cushion up and open this up and you have a bait freezer. This works on a thermostat, so if you want extra refrigeration one day, it will refrigerate. If you want to deep freeze, it will also deep freeze. We're going to step into the command deck area. Uh, this area is completely air conditioned. Two L-shaped uh, settees, pretty good storage capacity underneath them. Ultra leather cushions with piping is a nice upgrade. This is a Release Marine Teak helm chair with a nice stainless pedestal and also a Release Marine companion chair. Stepping up to the helm, you can see we have a nice standing platform here. Teak helm pod, single lever, Palm Beach style controls. These are the buttons for the bow thruster. So you can use the bow thruster while you're working the throttle. It's a lot easier for maneuvering the vessel this way. Over here is a Cummins joystick system that allows you at the dock to maneuver the boat. So you can step away from the controls, use the joystick, you can sidewalk the boat, you can bring the bow over or the stern over and help yourself tie up. It's a great feature if you're live baiting or kite fishing because you can sidewalk the boat. If you have multiple hookups, you can really maneuver this boat on the fish and, and get the lines tight so you can catch two or three or four at a time. This is the radio box. Um, this is a new switching system to this model. This is all carbon fiber and push button, very clean and neat. You have your VHF radios, your engine controls, your autopilot, uh, fusion stereo, port and starboard trim tabs. So most of your features are in here and they're out of the elements so you can keep all of this stuff clean. It has your uh, Garmin electronics package, which is radar, GPS, sonar, backup GPS, autopilot, speed and distance logs. It's all touchscreen, and it's definitely the top of the line product out there as far as navigational equipment. If you look forward through the windshield, you can see that your 360 degree visibility is very impressive on this model. There's not a lot of framing in the windshield, so you can really see all the way around the vessel. Clearly, it's one of the unique designs to this particular model. Up here is uh, recessed electric teaser reels. Uh, these are Maya US6s, so they stay up here and out of the way. So I have removed the cushion on the starboard settee, and you can see the storage that we have under the command deck. It is the same thing on the port side, identical same storage compartment. And I'm gonna raise this up now, and we can take a look at the engine room. So when you open the hydraulic uh, hatch, you will get to your engine room. This is uh, powered by a set of twin 550 horsepower Cummins diesels, QSC 6.7. So this boat is gonna cruise at about 32 knots, extremely quiet, extremely fuel efficient, 
Uh, this boat's going to burn under 50 gallons an hour at 32 knots, which is very impressive. Outboard, you have your ship's batteries and engine batteries, isolated transformer, and we'll go in the other side of the engine room and show you the rest. So here's another way into your engine room. Say you're out running, you have people on board, you can not open up the hydraulic hatch. You can always come down this way, jump in here and do whatever you need to do. Uh, one of the great features of this boat is the Seakeeper SK6, which is mounted on the stringers. And when you turn that unit on, it takes roughly 85 to 90% of the lateral motion out of the boat. It's an amazing piece of equipment and everybody should have one. Forward in the engine room to the port side is your own end generator. There's plenty of capacity to run everything on this boat comfortably. If you look forward against the bulkhead, you will see the electrical distribution panel. And then forward in the engine room is an Eskimo ice chipper, which is plumbed to the starboard fish box. So as you can see, you can really get to all portions of the machinery space from above and from the side with the access that we have here. So Vikings are well known for their elegant, lush interiors and their utilization of space. So why don't we go downstairs and take a look? So entering into the salon, you have a nice set tea area. It's big enough for a bigger person to sleep on or a couple of kids. It's wide enough. As you go forward, um, we have a nice hanging locker area. You can see the interior wood finishes on this boat are high gloss Juno Teak. So this is the standard finish for a 38 Viking. Uh, continuing up forward, you have a nice size double berth so two people can sleep here and then you have a single berth up above that so the boat comfortably sleeps for adults um, looking down at the floor this is custom antico laminate flooring so it's rich and elegant um, over here to my starboard side is a galley so you have a nice corian countertop with a sink faucet recessed electric kenyan stove up above that is a microwave and convection oven. You have freezer right here and a refrigerator there. So you got everything you need for a couple of days at sea, a couple of days at the dock. It's a very simple boat with all the amenities that our bigger models offer. One of the features I like the best on the interior of this model is the size of the head. You have a full stall shower, full head, fully functional vanity. Um, this is the size head that we typically do on our much larger models. So you really don't feel claustrophobic in there. You can move around and it, it really is a good utilization of space. So that concludes our tour of the all new Viking 38 Open. Um, sorry for the noise, Viking's a busy place and they don't stop here. But uh, my name is Doug Donahue from HMY Yacht Sales. If you have any questions about this model or the Viking product in general, please give us a call.